A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So does supersizing your business. Sharon Hornell here with my follow your dream pillow. I always have my pillow. It's cozy and comfy and it helps me to uh, be comfortable when I'm processing and doing my videos and things. So today we're talking about the idiom, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. This is, of course, an ancient Chinese proverb from La Tzu, Lao Tzu, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he is the founder of Taoism. And this idiom, this expression has been translated into about every language imaginable and is pretty common and well used today. Why? Because it reminds us of the importance of taking action, taking that first step, getting started, and then figuring everything else out along the way. What is more like this than building and growing, well, starting building, growing, and supersizing our business? Or buying a business and growing it. Uh, it's definitely a long and difficult journey in many instances, and it requires us to have persistence and commitment and direction and taking action, but starting small and doing one thing at a time. So often, and I'm guilty of this, as, as guilty as the next person, I just want to change the world right now. I don't want to have to do all the little steps. I want my business to be huge from the get-go. It doesn't work that way. We start out with an idea. We start out with our product or service or or uh, something that we want to create in the world. We, or better yet, we have a group of people that we want to work with and help and solve problems for. But we start small and we do something, we take action. Some of the things we do work really, really well. Some of the things we do are epic failures and we just have to learn from what didn't work and do something else till we figure out what does work. And that requires a lot of times trial and error, iterations, learning and growing uh, in ways that we sometimes never even imagined that we would. So I love this idiom. I love this expression. It's all about uh, building and growing and supersizing our businesses by moving forward, taking action, doing something, creating what it is that we want to see in the world. Uh, any worthwhile endeavor, at least so far in my life, has been a modicum of work, right? There is work and effort and energy and time and interest and attention involved in order to create anything worthwhile in our lives. It's true of our relationships. It's true of our families. It's true of our friends, which are all relationships, right? It's true of our businesses. And business is a relationship-based structure, right? We do business with people that we like and care about or want to do business with. Unless it's a utility or something and we don't have any choice, but we need that to live and survive, we like to do business, I like to do business with people that I like and trust and think have similar goals and objectives that I do, right? That's why I'm a big believer in doing local, doing business locally, doing business and helping uh, small businesses to grow and supersize and, and entrepreneurs because they really are the bedrock and the foundation, at least in America, of what is going to make it. Some people think the government will, but don't hold your breath. All right. Love to know your experience with this particular idiom. Sometimes it feels like a thousand miles when we're building and growing our business, but that's just part of the universe testing us to see if we're serious or not. All right. Have a great day. And I'll, of course, you'll see tomorrow with another business related idiom. Well, it might not be business related, but I'll find a way to tie it in to growing and building and supersizing our businesses. Have a great day. I'll be with you tomorrow.